Um, thank you everyone for, for joining. Um, my name is Jamie Priest. I am one of the regional sales directors at DocuWare. Today we'll be hosting a webinar. Uh, the title, of course, Transforming HR for the Modern Workplace with Document Management. Uh, on the call with me, we've got, got Nick from, from DocuWare, who heads up marketing here in the UK, and we have Candy Tewksbury from Alliance Healthcare, who will be um, our case study today, uh, Alliance Healthcare are one of our one of our, our customers, um, and we're going to give you a bit more details about them and and how DocuWare has helped them as an organisation later on in the presentation. Just a little bit of of housekeeping. Okay, there are the introductions. Just a little bit of housekeeping. There is a chat window for you to post questions into. Um, we may not answer them straight away, but we'll certainly get to those questions later on in the webinar. Uh, and then if you if you do want to ask a verbal question, you can put your hand up. Um, otherwise, just post it in the chat and we can, we can um, have the conversation later on. The agenda for today. All right, we've been through the introductions. Firstly, we're going to go into a little bit of a discussion around a report that we've recently done with the CIPD. Um, the report uh, talks about five main topics with regards to digitization within within HR. Um, we'll have a have a sort of a panel discussion with with Candy and and talk about um, DocuWare within the Alliance Healthcare um, uh, sort of framework. And then we'll go into a little bit of a demo demo of DocuWare to show you more or less how how DocuWare can be applied not only to Alliance's specific case study um, but also in general to to the HR um, departments within organisations. We'll close off with a Q and A, um, answering any of those questions that you may have posted, and then of course point you in the direction to to um, get all additional information that you might need. Okay. Let's jump straight into it. The five key HR business trends. Now, all of this information you'll find uh, within, within the CIPD report, which we'll make available to you later on. All right. Firstly, it talks about digitization. Um, secondly, it talks about sustainability, data-led decision-making and insights, automation, and cloud-based platforms. When we look at digitization, um, digitization is becoming super important for, for most organizations, particularly the HR environments within those organizations. Uh, how do we make physical information on the form of documents? How do we digitize that? How do we make better use of that information going forward within the process? Now, digitization is, is crucial, but often we find that it fails because of the planning around how to digitize our information. Okay, so this is a little bit of a challenge that we need to, to overcome, but on the whole, very essential for, for HR functions. Uh, the success factors of digitization, so HR benefits from digital record management, employee engagement and the insights you get from those records, the data analysis and the decision making um, that having those records digitized gives you. Uh, <clears throat> The next topic in the report or the next key point within the report is sustainability. Uh, now, sustainability, of course, is a concern for most large organizations now due to climate change. Um, companies are being pushed down the road where they must adopt more sustainable practices, including reducing the amount of paper within the organization. And this kind of leads to you to paper light approaches um, to day to day work. Um, of course, there's the aspect of the younger generations coming through who prefer to work um, with more cloud-based solutions that empower them to have that sort of hybrid working model, working half from home, half from, from an office environment where they can take their information wherever they go. Um, now, to empower these employees, HR departments really need to get on board with the sustainability and provide this, this way of working to their employees. Now the next next topic would be data-led decision making. Um, so there is a there is a large amount of data being generated in most organizations now. So making sure that we leverage that data and use it efficiently and effectively is really, really important. 
using that information will give us that sort of insight into the data okay how do we create that sort of digitized data-driven environment now where particularly HR information and employee record information can be used more efficiently this could possibly benefit benefit the organization by boosting employee retention improving the hiring process improving other processes within your HR organization or HR environment next would be automation I think this is probably a topic that I would I would more closely relate to myself is that every time we, we engage with our customers we look at the possibilities of automation we often forget that there are ways of ways of working that have been within the organization for so long we just jump straight to the automation part um, and that's okay but there's still a bit of a process to get there before we start looking at, at ways to automate um, automation will free up time essentially this is where we're going to get a lot of time savings by automating processes that were traditionally manual and labor intensive right this gives you sort of gives employees and employees within the HR environment um, more time to focus on strategic initiatives or engagement as opposed to to manual tasks and then lastly the cloud-based platforms so I mentioned it previously, the hybrid work model is, is essential for today, today's um, employee, pro, employee profile. Uh, so they're appealing to the younger generation, people that are seeking more flexible and mobile working work environments and cloud-based platforms essentially will provide that to them. What we're gonna do now is move into a little bit of a panel discussion. Okay, it'll be between myself and and Candy. Um, Mike Noyce, who was supposed to join us from Resor, had a had a little bit of a um, had a an emergency to say tear up, but everything's okay. I assure you. Uh, so I think this is going to blend in with a little bit of Q and A that I'm going to have with you, Candy, uh, later on. So I think firstly, maybe just introduce introduce yourself and introduce Alliance Healthcare as an organisation to to the attendees on the call. Hi, uh, thank you very much for having me. Uh, as you said, I'm Candy Cheeksbury. I am the Shared Services Manager at Alliance Healthcare, and I support the UK. Uh, we are a pharmaceutical wholesale business uh, and we are owned by Syncora, so we fall under the Syncora umbrella. Uh, our UK is around 7,500 employees. Uh, I've got a team of six who support a portion of that uh, and we've recently implemented um, Restore and DocuAir. And uh, we've also, alongside that, recently implemented a new global pay, uh, HR and payroll system. Fantastic. So for those for those attendees out there, you can tell that Alliance Healthcare is a is a really big organisation. Um, I think the concepts are set the same even for small, much smaller organisations. Is that this, these are important topics and these are things that we're going to address, and it'll be some we're going to be getting some good insight as to the approach that that Candy and her team took. Um, so I think my first question, Candy, is, is how important is, is digitization for Alliance Healthcare and particularly for you and your team? So it's hugely so. And actually, a lot of the aspects that you've mentioned during that introduction, uh, from a hybrid working point of view, when we went into lockdown four years ago, um, I sort of left site with my laptop and stacks and stacks of paper because that was all we had. Um, and actually we've had to move so quickly over the last four years to make sure that we can keep up with the demand and keep up with the new work, ways of working. Um, from a digitalization point of view, we need to make sure that we are on the ball and we are aligning with the rest of the global businesses out there, being able to support not just ourselves, but also our team members. If a team member contacts me and asks me what happened three years ago, I'm sorry I'm not in the office right now isn't really the answer they want to hear so actually we need to make sure that we've got everything at our fingertips at all times um, and between our, our implementing uh, DocuWare that's absolutely where we are. Okay, great 
I, I think that covers sort of my next question as to how DocuWare helped you helped you overcome overcome those challenges. Um, I suppose now that you mentioned it, were there were there other challenges that you may have faced, like compliance issues or, or retention issues that you you previously had? Absolutely. So our previous provider uh, was a fairly standard service, um, and actually a lot of the processes were then manual, um, and ultimately. Unfortunately, some manual processes go to the bottom of the pile um, when other things just come in. So um, being more digital has and um, using DocuWare has meant that we can be a lot more strict about our guidelines and about our retention periods. And it's meant that we can put in an awful lot more um, automation into our systems and into our processes. So actually, it's not me every 1st of uh, April deleting last year's documents. This is now an automatic process. Um, so yeah, it's absolutely helped with so many other processes that I didn't expect it to. Uh, I was looking for a new scanner and document provider and I've got so much more. Fantastic, that's great to hear. So um, can you maybe just, let's talk about the interaction you've had with, with Restore Digital and Mike Noyce and, and how they've sort of they've helped you um, along with with the DocuWare solution? Absolutely so uh, it must have been just over a year ago now uh, we completed an audit on our current scanning system um, or on our previous scanning system and realised that we were going to fail audit it wasn't acceptable it wasn't um, compliant we weren't able to find certain documents we reached out to our procurement team who put me in touch with Mike because they'd previously worked with them on a different project. Uh, ever since my first meeting with Mike and the team, they've just been so helpful. Nothing has been too much hard work. Uh, they sat down with me, they showed the, showed me the system initially uh, and all the really cool features that sort of had me hooked actually. Um, it was then not an option to go anywhere else. I needed those features and I could see how I could progress those. Um, so we had our first meeting, they showed me all the cool stuff uh, and then they worked with me to work out what I needed. So we started with the basics. We started with what do I need my team to be able to see? How do I plan on implementing this? What's the rollout period? And it's not saying it was all smooth rolling. Uh, it absolutely wasn't. Alliance Healthcare, we have a lot of processes in place. So actually I had to jump through a lot of hoops my side. Uh, but Mike and the team uh, were amazing every step of the way and were quite happy to interact with my IT team, my compliance team, uh, filling out our never ending compliance forms to actually get them to be one of our providers and our finance team essentially to get off, get the PO signed off and all of that. They've worked with me the entire way. Um, and I think once we then agreed what I wanted in place, we implemented that. And uh, I changed my mind several times and they were always happy to support with that. And then once I did, did implement, I realised that actually there were some aspects that didn't quite work for me or because I've been so used to my old ways, um, having this new this new system, they were quite happy to say, well, this is just the start and next we can move on to this. Hmm. Yeah, I think that also just ties back into the first point um, out of the report that we've done, the digitization. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of planning that needs to go into digitizing your information um, and it's not always going to be smooth sailing, but if you, if you do plan it even 80% even correctly, you, you're going to be well on your way. Um, and that element of, of digitization approaches failing due to poor planning kind of are mitigated by that. So it's great to hear that Restore, Restore have walk, walked, walked you down this road, helped you um, every step of the way. So I suppose you guys have implemented the DocuWare solution. You focus predominantly on, on the structure of the file cabinets and the documents that go within the solution and keeping them compliant, making sure that they're accessible, making sure that um, the retention periods are auto automated for these documents. Um, What's what's next? From what you know of the DocuWare solution, what's next for you guys? What's the next step in your in your road to automation and improvement process? So as a business, we're constantly changing, um, and actually a huge part of 
why Restore was such a great option for us was the security that we could have around the system as well. We have a huge team, um, but equally, I don't want that huge team seeing everything. So it's really easy for me to set up profiles about these team members can see this information and they can see that. And knowing that I've got that security to be able to set that up, making the files more available to the rest of the business and to, to certain aspects of our business. Um, so that that's my next plan is to go bigger. Uh, so we've currently got sort of a portion. Uh, so all of our payroll files are in there and we've got around 1500 of our HR files. But as I mentioned, we have seven and a half thousand employees. So I've still got 6000 employee files to go. Uh, they are across the country in cabinets, uh, in locked cabinets, uh, but they are in cabinets and they're in paper form. And actually, as a business, we know that's not right. And as a business, we understand that our printing bill is astronomical. So we want to make, make sure that we can get that taken away and that we can streamline some of our processes so that we're not printing uh, and that we are just filing away automatically. So our next phase is to go bigger, get more files in there, and then look at some of our forms. I have sort of played around with that aspect and Mike has absolutely talked me through some of the, the processes and how to set up uh, forms. So that will be our next step. Okay. All right, so yeah, complete role-based access to, to your information, really, really important for any organization, I suppose, is to make sure that the right people can see the right information. Um, super easy to set up with DocuWare like you mentioned and you can you can get really granular with the level of security around those those roles. Absolutely. You, did, you mentioned workflow and forms I think particularly in, in the employee records management and the HR environments web forms are important because the old traditional way of, of printing out a document and having it physically filled in and then scanning it back in and filing it manually those are the types of things we're trying to get away with away from. So setting up forms to capture data throughout your organization, and these could be anything from application forms to equipment request forms, any sort of any data updates that employees might need to make, um, that sort of thing. Um, really, really the possibility with web forms are, are endless. Now the, the real benefit of having web forms um, as part of a document management solution is that those forms and the data submitted on those forms can flow directly into a workflow. And you can make automated decisions using that workflow. And I think this is more what you this is what you're talking about in your next phase is that that the automation that the workflow provides when you can start validating data with with automatically against external sources or internal sources, it does streamline the whole process of capturing that data, automatically filing it, and then being able to access it and make better decisions with it. Um, so we're really, really excited um, to see the next phase in, in Alliance Healthcare's journey. Um, and I don't think you could be in better hands than you are with, with Restore, who are, as you know, a, a platinum partner of DocuWares in the UK. Um, I just want to thank you. Thank you for all of your input and your insights. It's been great. Um, any of the attendees, if you've got any questions uh, for Candy, you, I'm sure she's happy to, to, to field them. You can post them in the chat or send them to her afterwards. She'll be, she'll be more than happy to give you some insights on, on how to approach, approach it. Absolutely. Thank you. Brilliant. I have, I have a few questions coming through, actually, Jamie. Um, okay. So but the first one is, how long does it typically, typically take to implement DocuWare for HR processes in a, in a mid-size organisation? In a mid-sized organization, um, it really does depend on what, what types of processes you're looking at. If you're looking for basic records management, you could have a system up and running if it's well planned within two to three weeks. Um, if you're looking for additional processes to capture information or to validate information in workflows, if we're looking at, let's say, an onboarding process in our HR environment, it might take a few, a few days longer. We're looking at maybe four to five weeks. Um, so we're not looking at really long implementation timelines here. I think the important message here is that the planning around the implementation is is really important. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, we have a few other questions coming through, but we can wait till the Q&A at the end. Right. We did. 
do that. So I'm going to jump into a little bit of a, a demo of the DocuWare solution. Um, it's going to be HR orientated. I'm going to stop showing my screen for a second. And then everyone can see my screen, I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah. So this is a five minute demo. Um, be more than happy to jump on with anyone who'd like to see more more information around around the DocuWare demonstration um, or would like to see more detail around the DocuWare demonstration, but I'm going to give you a high level overview. In a, in a typical HR environment, you'd have a lot of documents coming in from different sources, whether it's in, whether it's being existing file structures or email, um, employee records are going to constantly be coming into, into your environment. So you need a place to sort of handle these employee records. Some instances they might get filed directly because you've got all the information to index onto the documents. Some instances it might be new records, in which case we might need to leverage some OCR capability of the solution to extract the information off of these documents. Now, open in front of you is a DocuA document tray and any in external type of information like a CV, a driver's license, employment contracts, anything can really land up in this document tray. If I have multiple different store dialogues, particularly for HR, I might want to just store all documents. All right, so you'll see that, um, let's use a different example. All right, so I'm going to use my passport, for example. So using a, a list of index fields on the left hand side, we're able to then start classifying the documents essentially. So we could classify it as the passport. What you could also do is you could click on a field and point and click on the document to pull in information. All right, and you might, I'm just going to leave it at today's date. And we can select which fields are mandatory, which fields are not mandatory, etc. Um, when I reprocess a document of the same type of template, the system where you've seen the color code on the field is going to start recognizing the information automatically. For the ease of this demo, this is just the information I'm going to capture for a passport. As soon as I capture that, that document disappears from my document tray and ends up going through either a workflow process to validate or approve that type of document, or it goes directly and gets filed into my file cabinet. So it does depend on the process there. Um, as you've seen, when I double click on a document, it appears in my document viewer on the right hand side. From my document viewer, I can make annotations on these documents, I can download them, share them, or do what I need to do with those documents. The search functions within DocuWare are also really, really important. So if I focus on an HR document search search dialog, this gives you a list of fields that you can search for by. These would typically be the metadata fields that you've indexed that used to index the documents, um, but it does make finding information really easy. So if I had to hit the search bu button, it would find all those documents in my file cabinet. I could then use the filters on here to further narrow down the document for example, searching by a document number, in which case it would only show me that document. Um, what we're able to do is start relating documents together. So based on an employee reference number, an employee number, when we start storing documents against an employee, the system automatically compiles that employee record for you. So you don't have to skip between searches or go back and search for different document types. We just have a link directly from that document. From a data insights perspective, also really important as I'm storing documents throughout my HR processes, these lists get updated with, in, with information. So I might have processes where I've got open positions and I want to see what open positions I have in my organization. This is an open position applied uh, for sales, one for public relations. Um, so this type of data insights, okay, I can then see applications that were in progress, um, interviews that have been scheduled. These are the types of processes that we can implement based on the employee records and what we've implemented using DocuWare. Of course, the tasks, there's there's tasks for the different processes within DocuWare. So this is when the workflow really starts to shine is if we're implementing an onboarding process or an application process or a performance review process, we can leverage the workflow to automatically kick off those tasks, bring out the information that we need to bring out and have a very configurable sort of approach to approving tasks within our organization.
One thing we're going to focus, we, we spoke about as well, is the web forms. All right, you'll see there's a load of different web forms, and this is what I was speaking about earlier. The application for the web forms is so broad across our organization, particularly within HR. This is applications, onboarding, offboarding, equipment requests, sick, leave, sick notices, leave requests, that type of thing can all be configured within, within our web forms. And that does conclude my demo. As I said, it's going to be a very short demo. Um, just a little bit of a taste into DocuWare and then how the solution looks and feels. If you'd like more information or like to see more of the demo or of different applications um, of DocuWare, please do get in touch. And I'll just go back to the PowerPoint. Okay. Nick, I think we can jump back to the questions if you have any. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've got a, a fair few coming through, which is good. Um, the first one is, how customizable is DocuWare to fit unique HR workflows within different industries? DocuWare is completely configurable. Um, although we, we do have some predefined or pre-configured type solutions that kind of give us a baseline to work off of, Everything that you've seen there from a document tray to a search dialogue to a file cabinet structure and the metadata fields to the tasks and the workflows and the decisions and the automation within the workflows and the web forms, everything is configurable to your particular business requirements. And as I mentioned previously, that configuration is low to no code. So the implementation timelines are, are short. Thanks, Jamie. We have a question from Roger who has asked um, if you could give just a, a brief overview of some of the, I know you, you, you explained uh, a process there, but what other typical processes that are implemented for, for DocuWare, like onboarding, that sort of stuff. Can you give a brief overview of some of the other things that you can do? Yeah. So for the sake of this, for this, um, for this webinar, um, when we're focusing on HR, uh, Record general records management, um, performance appraisals within our HR environments, uh, onboarding applications, so applications and the interview process, the recruitment process essentially, um, <clears throat> the uh, offboarding process is more often than not actually quite important to some organisations to make sure that when an employee decides to leave, that they're offboarded correctly and they they've adhered to all of the sort of compliance and policies and and legalities are being afforded. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, just, that's just a few. In terms of the broader scope and the broader application of DocuWare, the, we integrate with e-signature e platforms. So if you wanted to start incorporating digital signing of employee, employee contracts um, and other contracts within your organization, we could incorporate a lot of aspects within the finance department where the automation and the capture of information off of documents really does streamline and, and automate the process. Um, contract management, I've mentioned uh, quality management, so making sure we generate documents from DocuWare with the correct information. There are being uh, standard operating procedures. This could also apply to your HR environment when you need all of your employees to recognize, read, and read a SOP within your organization because the policy has changed. So this just gives you that kind of, that ability to, to distribute the document across your organization and make sure people have acknowledged it. Um, and again, that's just, that's just some of the, some of the areas um, that, we, that we, we sort of, we focus on. So I just wanted to add to that. So actually, I think one thing that we found really good since implementing is we have um, documents that are mandatory so actually when we onboard someone if the, the DocuWare will recognize if we haven't received certain documents back so if we haven't received references back it will show that those are outstanding if we don't have right to works it will show that those are outstanding so it's meant that I don't have to keep a spreadsheet or my team don't have to keep a spreadsheet to track that and actually that that notification is constantly there so we can make sure from a compliance point of view that you're remaining on top of items very, very important, I think. Um, <laughs> thanks both. Uh, another question coming through. Can DocuWare be integrated with other HR platforms like Workday or SAP success factors? Yes, the answer is yes. Um, most, of, most of our partners follow multiple different integration methodologies. DocuWare offers 
technically offers multiple ways to integrate, uh, whether it's soft integration or an export and import or an API. We also partner with a um, iPass platform, and that gives you a whole bunch of different connectors into these types of systems. I know there's definitely one for SAP success factors. Um, so you can you can use the iPass platform to integrate information between Docker and success factors. And Workday, I believe, has open a as APIs for for us to connect to, which is also next on our plans. There you go. Sorry, I was muted. Yep, sorry, I was muted. Um, yep, thank you guys. And uh, another question here is DocuS suitable for smaller businesses or is it more geared towards larger enterprises? DocuS can be applied to any size organization, um, whether it's as small as a two user system for, for a very small business, all the way up to the size of Alliance Healthcare, for example. Um, yes, it, it, it has scope for any size organization. Thank you. Uh, and one final question. Um, how does DocuS support remote or hybrid work environments, especially in managing HR documents and processes? Yeah. So I suppose particularly the cloud environment, but even an on-premise environment with access into the servers, you can you can log into DocuS from anywhere, um, be, the, be it the office, be it the coffee shop, or be it at home. Um, so you always have that accessibility into the solution. There is a mobile application for DocuWear as well. So if you're on the go and you're not able to open your PC or your workstation or your laptop, um, you can you can access the mobile phone. Um, you can search for your documents. You can process documents from a document tray. And I think the most beneficial would be managing tasks. So have, if you have an approval or need to check a document via a task that is available on the mobile phone as well. Thanks, Jamie. Um, actually, a couple of questions for you now, Candy. Um, uh, what were the biggest inefficiencies in your HR process before implementing DocuWare? Duplication. Um, so actually, a form used to come from the HR team over to the payroll team, and then we would do everything we needed to online, and then we'd print it and send it off to get scanned uh, because we we weren't able to drop and file accurately uh, and quickly, ultimately. Um, so yeah, duplication and sustainability were a huge issue. Uh, and then from a point of sending off our documents to get scanned, which we do still do some some of, not as much, uh, the, our, our biggest concern was the audit trail uh, and everything. Every time someone looks at a document in DocuWare, it can pretty much be tracked. Uh, which is great for me as a manager because I can make sure that the right people are looking at the right things at all times. Thanks, Candy. <clears throat> and one final one for you. Uh, did you face any internal resistance when introducing DocuWare to the to, yes. to your team specifically? How did you address that? Yes. So uh, I think the biggest concern for my team was, oh, we're going to have to log into a website every morning and do it that way rather than just dropping into our because we essentially given up using our old provider at, at some point we just have to we can just drop it in and actually the features that DocuWare has available uh, it meant that I could please everyone so you can just drop in you can have it in your uh, file explorer so it looks just like it used to um, so that was great um, I also was able to win them round with the extensions that go into Outlook so you can just click control whatever you set it up to be and it will now file that way. So actually, I was able to support a different range of my teams from those that are really intrigued and really want to use new systems, those that are slightly more hesitant. Um, and also from a from a business, wider business point of view, um, sort of when I was trying to get it approved, it was a higher cost, but actually it was a higher cost that was worth it from a time management point of view, but also from that peace of mind that this is going to do more than we need it to and we can we can grow and make it work for us and we can implement new processes great thank you candy uh that's it jamie so you can you can you can carry on with the rest of the slides that's perfect that's there's not there's not too much um 
there's not too much more to go through. I just wanted to thank everyone to jo for joining and a special thank you to, to Candy for, for making the time. Um, as I said, we're really excited to see where you go next with DocuWare. And um, to everyone else on the call, if you need, uh, need anything or if you'd like further information, as I said, please reach out. Uh, and we'd also be really grateful if you could, if you could give us your feedback um, on the webinar. Nick, I think that's it. So happy to happy to close off from there. Super. Thanks everyone for coming today. Um, we'll see you all soon.